Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you how I paint on my mini Christmas bath bombs. So here's what they look like. Um, I have a little snowman and then the little Santa belly. And I did not invent painting on bath bombs, but many people have seen those uh, little bath bombs on all of my social media, and many people have been asking me how I do it, so I figured it would be a great idea to actually do a video about that. So today I'm using the bath bomb press to make all of my bath bombs, and I'm using the small round mold, and then I'm gonna have all of these dry in these drying trays which are also from the bath bomb press and they are made to fit perfectly with the small round mold they also have them for the medium and the large so whenever you press a bath bomb you just put it in there and it will dry with a perfectly round shape no flat bottoms um, one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that if you want to learn how to make bath bombs Lee Choi the owner and designer of the bath bomb press and I will be having a bath bomb seminar uh, in 2019, on May 16th, precisely, in Dallas, Texas, just before the annual Handcrafted Soap and Cosmetics Guild conference. So we're holding the seminar just the day before conference, and uh, you can still sign up. There are still places available, but I heard it was half full already. So uh, I'll leave all the links below if you want to sign up to our seminar. Now, uh, first I'm going to do these bath bombs really quickly, and then we're going to get straight to painting them and how I do it. All right, let's get going. I'm trying to give you guys the best angle I can. So here is my setup. I always have my bowl on a scale so I know exactly the weight of each of my bath bombs. And I push in there about 110 grams. Here I have 112, but that's good. And then, and then I press my mini bombs. and they just slide right out. So I'm just gonna put this into the tray and keep on pressing. To add a little extra fun, I have this uh, sprinkle medley of Christmas candy and I'm just putting these in the bottom of the mold, just like so. And if you don't want these in your tub, they're so easy to just rub off with the finger whenever you take the bath bomb out. And I just fill my mold as usual and add my mix until I have enough powder. Let's move these out of the way. And press.
the perfect red for my Santa's belly bath bombs. I'm just gonna mix it a little bit by hand just to make sure that everything is nice and evenly distributed. So what I like to do is like kind of go with my hand, get the bottom up and stir it up. This smells so yummy and delicious. Oh, mm. <laughs> puts you right in the mood for holidays. Here they are, all of the small bath bombs are made. They're in the drying trays. They will stay there for a couple hours before we apply some paint on them. Well, not really paint, but bath bomb paint. And then we will let these cure for 24 hours to make sure that they are fully dried before we package them. They are really small, so 24 hours is enough. We have two dehumidifiers running in the workshop at all times, so this helps to ensure that the air is relatively dry and that these are really rock solid when we get them ready to go. These bath bombs have been drying since yesterday. Um, we had gusts of winds up to 130 kilometers per hour. We had over 10 hours of power outage, so I figured we'd just do this today. <laughs> and the power is back and everything's fine, don't worry. So I have all of my little uh, measuring cups here with some 99% rubbing alcohol and some mica. And the ratio that I use is one teaspoon of mica for one tablespoon of 99% rubbing alcohol. So I'm just gonna move two out of the way so I don't knock them over because I don't need them right now. And when I do my little snowman, I always start with the nose. Now, if you go on Google and you type in snowman face, you will see so many templates of little snowman faces you can do. Um, I hired an artist last year and I asked her to draw this little snowman face for me because I wanted to have something that wasn't really out there and it's not one I've seen before. So you can try and create your own unique snowman face using the same exact technique. So here is my little paint and I have a rather fine paintbrush for this little project because these bath bombs are really small. And I always start with the nose because it helps me center the face of my snowman. So here we go. And I always go back and stir from the bottom up because mica does not dissolve in the alcohol, it simply disperses. So if you don't stir very often, um, it may sink to the bottom and eventually your paint will get thinner. So just be careful not to drop any of that mica paint on the other bath bombs or somewhere you don't want it to be. And just do all of your little nose. And I really like these drying trays to paint because your bath bombs do not move and they stay into position. But if you want to see up close what I'm doing, I'll do one right here for you guys. And you can absolutely hold them by hand when you paint them. It's just a little nose. I put my pinky finger on the side. It helps me stabilize when I pick them up and paint my little noses. So now this is the tricky part to do the little eyes and the little smiles because you're going back and forth so much in the black that you may drip some paint, oops, you may drip some paint on your bath bombs accidentally. So just try and be careful now. Little eyes, little eyes, and I always do this like in a row. And always be careful 
that your mica paint is not too thick because when you're going to be packaging these little babies, if the mica is thick, it will smear in the packaging. Let's move on to the eyebrows now that all of the little eyes have been done. I just do cute little lines like that and hop, hop. Okay, and just so you see up close for the mouth, so. For me, I like them to have a smile on one side, and this is just how I finish my little snowman. Of course, I'm not gonna pick them up to finish this. I'm just gonna go ahead right in the tray. And let's move on to the Santa belly. So I'm using a wider brush. This one is a half inch flat brush. I just got it here at the local art supplies and I'm gonna be using the same black mica paint that I, I was using for my snowman. I may have to make some more along the way though because it does take quite a bit. Let me pick one up <laughs> and show you up close. So here's what I do. I just do a straight line. Oop, that wasn't so straight. And then I paint all the way across. And I'll be doing this for all of my Santa belly. So I'm just basically painting the belt onto the Santa belly. My fingers are all black now because of this mica paint. And I'm gonna do this again straight on the drying tray. For the buckle, I am using a golden mica and I will just do the first one up close and then we'll speed up the rest of the process. So I like to keep all of my bath bombs in the same angle um, so that when I paint then it's a repetitive motion and it's easy to, to do. I try to stay centered and I just try and do a nice little square like this and then the pin and the little holes. And there we go, we got a buckle. And voila, all of the mini Santa belly are ready. And what we really like to do here is to couple them with a little snowman, just like this. So it gives a body to the snowman, which is different than a, a snowman belly. Um, yeah, we find that really cute. <laughs> For these bath bombs, we are using the National Shrink Wrap to seal them and keep them away from moisture. And we just apply pressure using the wand. Was it hot enough? And here we go. We just apply the wand and we cut the plastic using the hot, um, kind of there's a hot wire in there. And the reason why we're doing only one row at the time is that because the mica is very fragile. It's not a real paint, so it remains a dried powder. And if we would do them in a row of many rows, then it would probably rub off. So we're really careful with our mini bath bombs that are painted. Once we are done packaging them, we need to 
shrink wrap them with the heat gun, and we keep them in the trays so that they do not move and stay in position. And voila! Here are all of the mini bath bombs perfectly wrapped and ready to be rolled up in bunches of three for the holidays. I hope this video has helped you get inspired to create your own painted bath bombs for Christmas or for any other occasion. Oops! And this is the one that I dropped a little bit of paint on, but it turned out so cute. So if you would like to come and learn to make bath bombs with Lee Choi, the owner and designer of the Bath Bomb Press, and I, we are a bath bomb duo, and we will teach you how to make bath bombs during the Handcrafted Soap and Cosmetics Guild annual conference uh, the day before, actually on May 16th in Dallas, Texas. We will do a seminar so you can sign up while there are still seats available. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them uh, in the comment section below. And I will leave all of the useful links for the conference and for anything I may have mentioned during this video so you can access them really easily in the description box. Please give a thumbs up to this video if you've enjoyed the content. You can, of course, and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And until next, the next video, well, happy soaping or bath bomb making. Goodbye.